Batman Return of the Joker. Every once in a while we're going to come across a game I've played before, but it's been a while since I've played it. I want to play this for a specific reason. My shirt came in. Batman Dying is Easy Contributor. If you haven't checked out the fan film Dying is Easy, made by Bat in the Sun Productions, check it out. It is really cool. Um, but I supported it, and I got a cool shirt. And it made me want to play a Batman game. Oh, and here's the story. Such as it is. Really cool character models for an NES game. I realize it's cheating it, they're all just still shots, but like, that's cool looking. And I think, yeah, that's all the story that you get. Alright. New game. Eight minutes. A huge character model. And yeah, if you held down the button, you could like charge your shot. There we go. Crossbow is the one I think I liked. It was kind of cool you had all these different things. It's weird that it's a Batman game designed around different guns you can use. I feel like they might have missed the point of the character. But still. Look at him. He looks cool. All the character animations are real neat. Oh, I needed that. There we go. This is the one I want. You charge this sucker up and it'll take out anybody. Yeah. The distinct advantage of having Al played the game before. They can't sneak up on you with attacks. I think it was really cool that he has that, like, up animation. So, much more arcade kind of feel than the, the original NES Batman. But, like, presentation-wise, this is pretty neat. You can tell it's a game that I know. Ooh. He sets before getting ruined. Oh my god. No! I might die. Oh boy. No! I have one health. Ah! Ah, crap. Batman explodes. Oh, I am out of practice. Oh, that's stupid. Oh, and we're just going to use the old turbo there. There we go. Oh, come on. I used to be good at this game, I swear. Oh. I swear I used to be good at this. <sighs> Alright. No more messing around. It's serious now. I should probably just use this thing and just turbo everything. Yeah, you can't really 
sure what the crossbow attack. If I can live long enough to get to the boss, you'll see uh, you'll see what the boss fights are like. They're pretty cool. Like it's a completely different health bar. If I can fill up eight of those letter B things, then I become temporarily invincible, which is kind of cool. All right, boss fight. Oh, still shooting at me. I have no idea who that dude is. He's not particularly challenging. It's kind of cool, you can see like you have an entirely different power meter at the bottom and the bosses obviously get tougher, but it's kind of cool. And stage clear. I thought it was going to be cool to get, all to get that guy. Wicked music to this, in my opinion. I thought the music was really cool. Stuff in the foreground and the background. Pretty tricky crap like that where the enemy's in the background. Oh, you! Okay. I only have like one life, I gotta make sure I make this jump. <laughs> Whatever. And this cool stuff. Batman has a jetpack. For reasons. But kinda cool they threw in like an extra mode. You can see why I use the crossbow, it's awesome. Yeah, I'm assuming it's a crossbow. I see crossbow, it looks like a bow when it opens. I think it said that in the instruction manual, but I don't have the manual anymore. It's lost to time. Ooh. I think that's it. this one. And it had stupid missiles that constantly just drop out of the sky at you. And the hurricane people. So I know a lot of Batman villains I don't recognize that one. And of course it's a slidey level. It just slides enough, you know? Specifically all oh, the water. Not too much in the snow, but there. That stupid stuff. Oh. Oh, now that's my eight minutes. Game's still fun. I mean, obviously, like, the graphical prowess of it has been lost to me, but when this came out, this looked up. The size of your character alone. That was not a common thing, right? Ow! Ah, oh, I was hoping I got him. No! Die! I beat the level. But yeah, it gets tougher. I think there's like seven stages by the end of it. 
but like you fight a tank, the Joker's in a gigantic like Dr. Wily mech machine at the end. It's absurd. It's like the Mega Man people got a hold of Batman and just decided to like really push it to its its limit. But it's a fun game and it controls really well. I missed it. So I still recommend it. Anyway, next time. Oh, I see what's gonna happen. Invincibility! Yeah! Run, 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 Batman! Oh no, the knife swung! <laughs>